Uh oh. So we're just walking around killing time as we try to find out the deal and this guess guess what my kid thinks that we should buy. Some guy just traded this in. He actually just sold it to him. And actually what's interesting, what he did is he put his own little power step on. And mud flap. And he changed out the interior to be an actual uh, leather interior instead of cloth. So uh, This is adorable. I love this. So now what I'm saying is, what would you give up for this? So I said, hey, would you give up that yellow Bronco? Well, if I could drive this every, you know, whenever, this hey. is kind of dangerous. Get up in there. It's unlocked. I don't know. I'm not Thing broke. I'll show you here. It matches. Go get it. All right. So let's see here, kid. Yeah. So this is like the F-150 Super State. Yeah. You like that part? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Put it in. What? We have to actually turn it on. Okay. Because right now it's just remotely started. That's good. There you go. It's on. This is really. Here, cute. get it. Uh, with her you're fine all right let's see here kid yeah let's hope it stays that way <laughs> she did drive my dually f450 that's why she likes it i love this yeah, this no is like adorable to the super duties. this is adorable oh uh, yeah all right here put the seat back down so you can uh, enjoy your it was your... like a little tennessee type of thing here, i thought it here. was cute yeah. here you push right here. Probably the only. There you go. <clears throat> 19, 18 year old, 19 year old with a truck like this in the state of Virginia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So now, do you know, have your mirrors adjusted? I'm adjusting them right now. Uh, push down that little bottom one a little, please. Yeah, that's perfect. Now you got your bearings? I'm looking around to make sure I am aware of everything. All right, so do you know the truck? You should. I, We've owned I a bunch do. of them. Yeah. Okay, so put it in gear. Okay. Take off your parking brake. Is your steering wheel adjusted properly? How do I adjust it? Should be a little button on the side. Oh. I like it right there. Okay. All right. You ready? So you go straight out and make a right at that, past that yellow. Make sure nobody's crowing through here. Stop. Somebody come blasting through. Okay. Go ahead. And you're going to make a right hand turn. Remember, your right rear wheel is bigger than your front yep. wheel. You're fine. Got plenty of room. Really cool. Okay, so what you want to do is let's hit some bumps up here. You get a better idea of how this thing drives, you know, where these things get really choppy. So the downside of these is the choppiness, What's you know. The speed limit? You're fine. 30, 35 probably, you're fine. Okay. So now you got a circle up here, and so you kind of have to finesse that, but you're fine if you go over that concrete. Don't worry about that. Good job. And you see where your wheel wheels. So you get a good bearing in your rear wheels. Yeah. Okay. And I get this truck. I know. See so if I see a little left. Look at your rear wheels to the curb. You're good. Good job. How many miles are on this thing? 3,400. That's it? Yeah. Yeah, you never... Sounds like one of my vehicles. Same thing, just watch your circle. This one's gonna go over a little 
You're fine. You're fine. There you go. See, now you're saying the right hand lane is up here is a left hand turn only. Straight. If you stay in the left hand lane a little bit, you're fine. Okay, good. You're good. That's okay, so what you're trying to do now. Stay straight. Okay. You're trying to kind of get a bearing now. You look at your rearview mirror where your tires are to that curve. Okay. So you kind of start getting an idea. All right. If you want to be in the left hand lane, if you're a little better, you can. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of. Let the car go by you, whatever. Okay. And so far, you're doing fine. All you can do is look at your rearview mirrors, look down at your wheels, see where they're on the road, and you kind of know where you are. You're going to go all the way down where it dead ends into the uh, main road to get on the beltway. Okay. So you go another mile up the road here. Okay. What's wrong? Just checking. That's all. How's the steering feel? future tow truck for the race car. Yeah. Got your car hauler, got your car and the car, race car hauler, and you get to drive to the track with your dually and your race car hauler. Yeah. That'd be cool. Like riding a wild Bronco. I'm just being funny how we're kind of getting bumped around. Okay, you got it. You got it. Stay straight. But feel confident. Go straight. You got it. I just didn't want to. You just do what you got to do to feel confident. Yeah. You know, you're driving. I'm not. Yeah, I know. That's what I did. Oh, yeah. This I makes really, you a Texas girl now. I really with the uh, four door. Right real, you got it, you're good. Now you're just gonna stay right, okay. stay in this right hand lane. Okay. It's gonna put you on that beltway. Then you just stay in the right hand lane with your merge on. Okay, how come you were switching lanes? I don't know, it's just the guy was slower ahead of us.
got it. You stay in your lane. Make sure you got a clear lane. You do. There you go. Give her some fuel. There you go. Give her some power. See how she feels. Feels good. Get something goes, doesn't it? What's the speed limit? Yeah, you're fine. You're staying with everybody else. You're fine. Okay. How does it steer right now? Start off. Let you take your hands off the steering wheel. So she does is keep give gas, give it gas, see if everything starts shaking. So she steers pretty straight. Okay, good. Put your guys back on. You want to see how that make sure the front end isn't shimmying too much. Okay. And watch this van up here on the right hand side. So just kind of stay left a little bit. Don't hit anybody. Okay. There you go. You're good. And you're gonna get off the next exit up here, but you got about a mile up the road. And then if you want McDonald's, you go buy McDonald's. I can't have fast food right now because it's giving me really bad acne. Really? So it's the RPMs. Not bad. So the gears are pretty good. All right. Give a little gas. See about 65 what she's doing. Where do I go? Way up the road here. Way up. You got a quarter mile up road. Okay. Right. You will, yeah. You'll exit up here on the right. On Woodlawn. Right. Okay. Then we're going to go to the McDonald's. Okay. Get something because we're going to be here a while. You're going to start getting hungry. Okay. I'll have the fish fillet. Just follow that car. Okay. Watch your rear wheels. You come into the corners. Now here's the true story. Stay right. Stay right. There you go. You know, the bumpity bumpity bump. Kind of like my super snake truck, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you come up to the light up here. You make a right. Okay. There's a McDonald's right here on the right. So you get the right hand lane up here and then. All right, just got done having McDonald's lunch. Wow, look at that little badass truck right there. If that, a, if, that, if that ain't a tow truck, what is? We could convert it into a tow truck if we had to. She'd be the tow truck girl. I thought you had a picture in front of it. How is the turning radius? Really good. Pretty good. A lot better than the F-350 was. F-350 was a beast to turn. Okay, go on straight on down. Just follow the arrow. Oh, okay. And you're, and Where? You go to the left here. Okay. There you go. And then just stay straight. I hope you can buy this because I really love it. And then she down here at the intersection. Make a right? Left, but oh, just okay. take your time here. Okay, I will. Watch out. Do I go? Nope. Uh -uh. Too much going on. Yeah, this guy's too much in a hurry. Yep. Clear my way. No, I'm not. Busy intersection. Right hand lane. Right hand lane. To get the deal, should be able to go out in the back main road. I see it. And you know how to get in there? figure it out. You don't get it. This is a forever truck. Like seriously. You just don't get it. Okay, go straight out. Make sure you follow that right corner. Okay, go ahead. You're good. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Far right lane. Far right lane. Yeah. Up to that past that white sign. You make a right hand turn. The service sign. Enter in. Okay. Got your blinker on? Yep. Okay, and then we'll park out front. Okay. This park up here. What you do? Don't want to hit those people, so let me. Okay, so you park it over next to that Lexus. Okay. Just pull it in, double park it. Okay. Hard right, hard right, then and a hard left. Okay. The turning radius is really nice. Okay. Got it. This is awesome. Okay. 
perfect. Seriously, dude. What have you done to my kid now? What have you done? Now she's addicted to this. Look, you got the, you got the, yeah. uh, so you even have more room. Yep, I've had those. I know, I remember. All right, the adventure is continuing as we try to figure out what the hell we're going to do today, right? And I've been following my channel and watching this today. It's like, what the hell? It's three o'clock and we're still working through the deal. It takes a lot out of me. And I'm guys. driving the F-150 Lightning, but what else are we doing? But what else are we doing? So the F-150 Lightning deal, pretty sure it's all going to come to be. But what else are we going to do? I, uh, I yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, created yeah, something. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. How crazy am I? All right, so what did we do? So look here. So I just traded in my F-150 Tremor truck here for the Lightning. Uh, no, I didn't. Actually, what did I trade this for? Stay tuned. Wow, Skr, I just can't believe it. I pulled it off. So here's the deal. I ended up getting this F-150 Lightning truck without giving up my Tremor. Meaning, I didn't have to give up that truck to get this truck. But, at the same time, we're, we are walking around this parking lot here. And, yep, if you're watching the whole video, you saw what somebody drove. So, uh, yeah, am I crazy? Yes. Yeah, so the kid now gets to drive, what, an F-450? An F-450. Oh, my gosh. I'm crazy. I just gave up this vehicle my my electric vehicle no oh, that's uh steve i mean dennis yeah he's got his little exhaust thing there yeah the gm here so anyway so uh yeah am i crazy giving up my f-150 for an f-450 single cab truck <laughs> that truck's pretty cool though a guy put a air suspension underneath of it in the rear and he, he has a gun safe in it Right. And he switched he steps. And he put nice electronic steps. Uh, the guy, uh, you don't think these electric vehicles make noise? Yeah, I hear you, baby. These things make noise. And there's another gentleman here that bought, well, that's not it right there. He actually has a different one in the back. All right, let's see what's going on with the other deal. All right, so we got the lightning deal done. Got an F-150 Tremor. We just traded for an F-450 Super Duty. Your story. Oh, oh, my gosh. Really? No. no it was bad so, idea. can you believe what I just did here? <laughs> Sometimes does your kid have the wrong influence on people like me? What? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, the kid has a new ride. Or does she have a new ride? <laughs> Now, this little thing here, I just know how rigid these are. How many love seeing her go up the road up here and that bumpy road? I'll have, to be, I'll have to be videoing her. She's bouncing up and down that interior. So, here's the new F450 girl. What's the new, what are we going to call this truck, right? I've got a name for it, but what a day. I mean, I can't emphasize enough. It's like 6 o'clock. We got here at like 11, 11 15, and I just pulled off a deal that even for myself, I can't believe I did. Ah, it's dangerous. Go to a car dealership with me and what happens? You'll end up spending money is what happened. <laughs> Sales guys will love you. All right. Is that good enough? I mean, is that enough conversation for the whole freaking day? As I head home in my brand new F-150 2022 Lightning Ice Blue and my 2020 used, freshly used, F450 diesel that a guy owned that's just like me with like 3,400 miles on it. And he did some add ons to it. Steps and rear airbags. So he put a rear airbag suspension on this thing here. And he put the power steps and he put nice mud flaps on it. 
So this thing just really is nice. There's an air lift. All right, <clears throat> let's jump in the F-150 and have more conversations. Good Lord, too much, right? So what's pretty cool is this guy here, he put in heated and air-conditioned uh, seats aftermarket. So these are aftermarket seats. He put a, actually a vault safe system in here too. This guy did some pretty cool things in his truck. He spent a little bit of money in his truck. So, uh, yeah, it ain't cheap either. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Now, here's the heartbreaker, right? I mean, this F-150 Tremor truck, so damn nice. I mean, it really is. And for me, ah, uh, you know, does this F-150 Lightning truck really replace it? You know, I just can't say it this time. As I drive it, you know, we'll... I'm sure, you know, it's a badass, you know, is it a badass vehicle? I don't know. I put the energy, when my energy comes around, something people show up and buy things. Yep. So anyways, so, so for this here, you know, it's all about the kid, right? But if you think about it, I can get an RF-150 Tremor truck down the road. And this here is just a unique situation where a guy bought this and he did a lot of things to it, and it's just a really cool, rare, I mean, how many two-door dualies do you see? I mean, I get it. You know, most you don't buy these because it's not very versatile if you have a family. So, uh, but at the same time, it's just such a cool looking truck. And here's the irony, back when Borderline, I was a little older than my daughter, but you, know, you go back to 19, like 86, my dad bought a nice Chevy dually. 454 big block yeah i wonder who inspired me to buy that right <laughs> yeah comes full circle doesn't it all right oh my gosh what a long ass day buying cars spending money it'll wear you out how do i know there's the kid yeah ask me how i know i mean jesus christ what a day i mean just can't size enough but... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a really, really long video. So I'm going to kind of just not do much more with it because it's already too damn long. I'll have to edit out a lot of stuff. And I'll do more of a whole review of this truck on a whole other day. My phone's about dead. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the day's gone and I'm freaking <laughs> burned up the phone. Battery's dead and just too much information in all reality. So... We'll do another YouTube video about the truck in more detail on another day. And uh, I'll video a little bit of my kid driving the truck and watch her bounce up and down. How about that idea? <laughs> All right. You know, if you didn't know I switched out of my F-150 Tremor, you know, just watch this video right now, you'd be like, well, you're still in your F-150 Tremor, which, you know, it's all the same really I mean, you know the truck drives the same as far as you know going down the road yeah you don't get the the exhaust note but as far as the drivability i mean it's just it's very similar and see it's talking to me it's not paying attention so the hands free uh oh get my hands on the steering wheel not happy with me so i'll do much more greater depth review on this another day but i'm just kind of sharing my new ford f-150 lightning experience and you know it's uh, sincerely i could couldn't tell you if it was a gas engine or electric engine at this point how's that kid doing yeah there's the kid back there if you can see her now if you watch my videos yesterday you saw my kid behind me in my gt500 and she was the gt350 you know, and I, and I just kind of put all the cards on the deck or however you want to say that. But I don't know, man. That F-150 Tremor truck is just so nice. I mean, I really did like I really did like that truck. And I didn't have to get rid of it. But did I? And it really came down. To, I really just kind of thought to myself, to have two F-150 trucks, eh, they're, I mean, and I got the Ranger truck, and then I've got the F-250, and I get I let go of my F-450, because I didn't drive it much, went about, not really wanting it, it's just justifying, it's, it's hard to justify having vehicles sitting around, so that F-450 back there, that's all about the kid, you know, and if she's driving it, then great, 
if she ain't driving it, then we're getting rid of it. But oh my God, she just, she's already calling me, just loving that truck. <laughs> Wonder where she got all this, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a day, though. I mean, good Lord, we're going to get home to like 7.30. We left at like a little after 10 o'clock this morning. And it's a challenge. I mean, it's a lot of work, yeah. We just stop buying cars. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah, do you know who I am? <laughs> do I know who I am is probably the more appropriate saying here. So, uh... Anyways, maybe I get a picture here of my kid going by on a dually. So let's see if we can maybe do that. She'd like that. Well, she didn't answer the phone. What's that all about, right? But you know, it's really weird. This is the slowest I've seen people drive across this road. This Route 70 from Fred from Baltimore, Maryland to Frederick or Frederick to Baltimore, it's 85, 90 mile an hour, 100 mile an hour driving. I have never witnessed this many people drive below the speed limit or speed limit and I truly believe it's the gas people are finally like I'm not driving fast because I'm not buying any more gas yeah I truly believe this gas pricing is really starting to hurt people and I've, I'm just seeing on the roads and how people drive they're not driving the speed limit you know they're driving below the speed limit why? save gas I get it. All right, coming in here to Frederick. All right, here comes the kid up by in the dually. Let's see if we can come on by here. There she goes. How about that, huh? Yeah. Oh boy, coming to the end here. What a day, right? How many times have I said that? And you know, I just thinking to myself, oh my God. So I have now officially purchased 11 vehicles since January. If you include my zero turn mower, which Jesus Christ, that thing's the price of a used car. That's 12 vehicles. If you included the trailer purchases, that's 14 purchases since January. And I got other things in the works, which haven't panned out yet, but if they did before the end of June, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I know, I get it. We were watching my channel. It's like, this guy's nuts. Yeah, I don't disagree. I mean, this is just incredible as I reverse and start selling everything next year. Yeah, that'll be the next YouTube video. Well, I hadn't let that go. Yep, hadn't let that one go. Oh, hadn't let that one go. Yeah, that's too much money. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah, my life's been up and down, but oh my gosh, I was just thinking to myself, my hot pepper red Bronco is number one. Then I bought the Ford uh, Tremors, the F-250 and Rangers, that makes three. Then I bought the Maki -E Grabber Blue, that's four. Then I bought the Maki -E White, Space White, that's five. Then I bought the Mach 1 Mustang, that's six. Then I bought the Yellow Bronco, that's seven. Then I bought the White GT Mustang, that's eight. Um. I'm probably missing something here. Then I bought these two vehicles today, the F-150 Lightning and the F-450. That makes 10. I'm missing, I'm missing one. Well, I guess if you include the zero-turn mower, I'm a, I know like, I'm missing a vehicle purchase. Oh, the Harley-Davidson motorcycle I bought from my brother down in Florida. So that's, that's like 11 vehicles. And then if you include my zero-turn mower... You know, that would be 12. And if you include my two separate trailer purchases, that would be 14. Oh, my goodness. Well, anyways, hey, really long video. I'll have to edit out probably a lot of stuff for today's video. But, you know, the whole F-150 Lightning, you know, more in-depth. 
conversations will be another video. And do we do an F450 daughter uh, video? So, hey, everybody, I really do appreciate you watching my channel, and I hope you get some entertainment out of it. That's kind of the goal here. If somebody watches my channel, they kind of can sit back and be like, yeah, right. <laughs> so, hey, everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, share the information, and ask your friends to subscribe, and uh, have a great evening. Yeah, and I kind of forgot to mention something. Uh, today being June 21st is the longest day of sunlight here for us. And I just thought to myself, yeah, it's just the longest day of spending time with purchasing yet another vehicle or two, right? And oh my gosh, is my property starting to look like a used car lot all over again? Oh, just interesting times. Incredible.